So our virtual journey to CES kind of stopped uh, at the computer hall, virtually. And uh, I found something that was kind of cool. Uh, I found this router from Asus. It's uh, called the Rapture GTX 11,000. And it has up to 11,000 gigabits per second of like synchronous bandwidth. It looks like a face hugger if you've ever watched Aliens. <laughs> We talked about that before. How some some routers are going the you know the smart up assistant route and trying to look like a, a lamp or something nondescript versus some of these routers look like they they should have their own movie. Like it's yeah, a like, it's a horror alien device. It it's got some. Um, if you saw this in someone's hallway, you would definitely be like, wow. For sure. Uh, this has Wi-Fi 6, Wi-Fi 6 E on board. Um, it has heat sinks attached to most of its components so it can dissipate heat. It's kind of incredible, but you know, for gamers, when they're online for that long, they want the best possible bandwidth. So this thing's completely tuned and optimized for gaming. But at the same time, though, because it has a such a, a powerful processor on board, it can also handle your smart home duties at the same time that's doing 10 other things. I think the 6E is an important thing to talk about as well. That's uh, uh, a new kind of standard that I don't think everyone's familiar with, um, but it basically allows uh, for faster uh, transfer rates, more bandwidth, and the 6 gigahertz frequency as well. So we've seen 2.4, 5 gigahertz, and now uh, they've opened up 6 gigahertz. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit less noisy in the six gigahertz range because not a lot of devices are up in that in that particular range. Uh, what, what's most interesting is uh, two two things. Number one, the price. It's five hundred forty nine US, so it's probably one of the most expensive uh, Wi Fi six routers that we've come across. Besides the, uh, I think there was a a a, a Netgear or. Yeah, I think it's the Netgear Orbi. One of the, those were very expensive as well, too. This also has the capability to mesh with other devices in the Asus lineup that contain something called AI mesh. So it, it doesn't need to be this particular router. You can mesh it with a number of other routers in their lineup as well, too, which is pretty versatile and really cool. That is and cool. Can, and it can search for radio frequencies from outer space. Does it do that? You know what? We're not sure, but it's something that we'll have to test. <laughs> I'm sure it's uh, on your on your list to get in, eh? That's right. It's going in the lab right away. You know, if you like this video or any of our videos, make sure you subscribe and hit that little bell notification icon as well so that you'll be notified of all our CES 2021 coverage.